victory like this? Um, felt good, uh, you know. They were booing us a lot, which really motivated us. You know, we felt like they didn't really respect us too much, so we all kind of came out with a tip on our shoulders, and you know, guys were ready to play, and we executed on a pretty high level. Mm -hmm. So it, everything worked out good for us. Nine for nine, uh, 140 something yards. Talk about your performance. Um, I don't know. I would, I would give it to my coach on the play call. You know, give me little. Little easy dunks, not too many uh, hard reads for me, just guys getting open and little dumps off in the flat and running catch, that's all it was. So just gave me an opportunity to warm up, you know, in case I needed to make a big play. And when, when the opportunity presented itself, I was ready to make that play. Can you run that by me again? How good was it to have the hard to run to hand that off to? Oh, mean, five touchdowns. Right, it's, it's always good to have it, you know. Uh, <laughs> it takes a lot of pressure off me, first off. Uh, just handling the ball, you kind of just sit back there and watch him go. A lot of times I'm impressed, I'm impressed by some of the moves he makes to get open and his, his burst once he hits that second level, you know. And same with Matt Brown, you know. Two really good backs, and they really contribute a lot to this offense, and they help this offense go. You ran the ball a lot today. It seemed like a lot of those were run pass options. Just was, was that kind of a big part of the game plan? Just kind of you reading and maybe taking the safer play, or um, uh, after a while they, they picked up on our niggas pretty well, you know. So I had to pull it down a few times, start covering the flat and covering the crosses. So I'm the last option in that. You know, I didn't want to force anything, so. If I didn't, if it didn't pop open quick enough for me, I, you know, I have the ability to run, so I, I took that in my hands. Okay, so Steve said, without looking at the film, you pretty much played a flawless game today. How personally satisfying is this for you to rebound the way you have, and and, and this, you know, this type of a game in this big of a stage? Um, um I'm content with my performance. Uh, it may look flawless, but I know I still made some mistakes. So. Some players could have hit for big yardage that, that I messed up on, so I'm just anxious to get back and see the film and correct those mistakes. And, you know, my performance is really based on the big guys up front and, and the backs. Uh, the naked game comes from if you have a good run game, then you can, you can have a good play action too. So that, that's how it worked out for me today. Is there a little extra juice there? I think the math is what a couple, maybe a couple miles down the road. Is there a little extra Adrian? juice there when you're, when you're playing right down the road from, from where you are? Yeah, I think I'm, I think I might have had some former uh, Demetha players here as well as coaches. Um, you know, I had that in the back of my mind. And the thing that really motivated me is, is how they booed us. Mm -hmm. You know, we came out to warm up and it's like they really didn't respect us. They didn't allow us our, our our portion of the field to warm up, and we really took that to heart. And I think that was the biggest motivator for us. Yeah. You think Maryland did that? Yeah, Maryland. Well, were they the ones booing you, or was it the crowd? I don't know. Booze everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Can you talk about the mental toughness coming into this game after losing last week? Um, that's something our coach preached all week is mental toughness. You know, a uh, hard loss for us, a game, a game we had the opportunity to win, but we didn't. Uh, we just wanted to bounce back and see what type of team we had. You know, it's, it's good if, if your team is able to respond after a loss like that and I think we handled it pretty well, you know. Your attitude this year is 